Hey guys, I wanted to do a real quick video on the Daikin Fit. And this video is a little different than the average video I do because most of my videos are geared towards homeowners, you know, trying to arm them or educate them when they're looking at our industry and trying to make decisions and things like that. But this video is gonna be a little more technical. I'm not gonna get super techy. There's people way smarter than me on YouTube that you can watch for that sort of stuff. But if you're looking at the Daikin Fit, you know, if you're looking at that particular product, I think this video will help you. There are three quirks, three quirks to the Daikin Fit that I think you should know if you're gonna install it or if you're having issues with it. So let's run through those real quick. And the first one is that the Daikin Fit, and I think there's other systems that do this as well, but the Daikin Fit will turn on, the fan will turn on every now and then, even if the system is in the off mode, to cool down the electronics of that system. So we had a customer once, they called us and said, hey, you know, my fan, I, my system's off. You know, I'm out here, you know, mowing the grass. It's a mild day. I'm not even running my system, but it keeps coming on periodically. And we ended up finding out that's what it was. You know, we found out that that fan was just kicking on every now and then just to cool the electronics down and so on. So just keep that in mind. The second thing is currently during the making of this video, the Daikin Fit pairs best with the Daikin One thermostat. And if you need information on that thermostat, I'll put a link down below, but you just wanna simply go to daikin1.com and it goes through, it has the manuals there, it goes through all the different brochures and things like that, and you can just get a look at the Daikin One. But the Daikin Fit pairs best with the Daikin One thermostat during the making of this video. And one quirk that we found after starting to install these, and now they're, it's like second nature, is if you install the Daikin Fit you got your Daikin One thermostat or controller on the wall, you need to have 0.6 DC volts at that thermostat. So the outdoor unit is going to send that voltage into the unit and you want to make sure that you're seeing 0.6 DC volts at the thermostat. If you are not the system will not operate properly. Then there are some dip switches that you need to flip so that way it is operating correctly and all that. And the last quirk would be if you are considering the Daikin Fit heat pump for your home or if you're installing one or whatever, is that that heat pump system cannot be installed with a horizontal furnace. So there's no AHRI match currently for the Daikin Fit heat pump to be installed with a furnace. So you would either have to go straight AC or you would have to be looking at a different heat pump to install with that so you could have a dual fuel system because the Daikin Fit cannot be, there's no AHRI match during the making of the video and as of the last several years, there has not been a match. So just want you to be aware of that if you're considering the Daikin Fit and so on. They've been saying, Daikin has been telling me that they're going to come out with one and that way there will be a match. They have not done that yet and I'm getting the feeling based on some of the other things that's happened with the pandemic and all the other things is that that will not be anytime soon either. So again, during the making of this video, can't be paired with a horizontal furnace, the heat pump. And then finally, if you are in the market for a new heating and air system, if you're in the Middle Peninsula or Northern Neck of Virginia, give us a call, Griffin Air. We would love to earn your business. But if you're not in our coverage area, you're somewhere else in the country and you are in the market for a new heating and air system, before you spend thousands, check out my new website, it's called newhvacguide.com. I'll put a link to it down in the comments. And this website, I basically wrote a book, made it a guide, put it on this website. And instead of having a book that would be outdated within a year or two, I'm able to constantly add things on there if new things come out. And the other thing is I've even put information on there that people in our industry don't even want you to know. So I've got a whole page called no-nos and you know just things to stay away from and so on. That being said, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.